honestly. And of course, after this match, um, now the match may start as early as nine. Um, I play one of our players. The match, the second semifinal is actually scheduled for ten, but they have agreed to start at nine p.m. Um, hoping this runs a little lengthy, so or at least early as nine. So if that happens, then we can do both of these literally back to back without any breaks. But we'll see what happens first. We gotta get through this semifinal. So I'm trying to play catch up here, man. And you can't get Sky has a little breathing room here because obviously she has that win right now. So here we go. Dual power-ups. Sorry, on world two. Yeah, world two. And of course, Pro would not would not be happening unless I said exactly what stage it is. And this of course is seven seven dash three. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, one thing in case you all don't know, especially for someone new to the randomizer, all the power blocks are randomized. So in any power block now, you can find either a mushroom, fire flower, a leaf, a star, a continuous star man if you're invincible, or just a coin, or a one-up mushroom. So that's what you see in the inside of any of the end of the power blocks. And of course, with the tournament in the group and the bracket staging, the giant question blocks are now also randomized as well. Yes, yeah, so if you're expecting a tanuki suit or a, a hammer in that one stage, <laughs> it, may not, yeah. it, may, it may not be there. Yeah. Do they know they want a match? Yes, they are all racing again. So th this is a standard SRL race. So they are in a race channel. That's where that's where they're giving the seed for the race in the first place. And of course, they can glance. That's all they basically know. All they can do is look at the race channel to see if your opponent has finished. That's about it. Great. That's all. They're about know. to watch each other play. Not supposed to be getting notes from chat or anything like that. Yeah. So one one having to be played in a more noob style no flight abilities so no no, no power uh, no item here uh, sky not being not being a bold you don't want to go too bold so again doesn't matter she might play a little safer but it definitely gets her to wins that's all that matters so again mitch having to play an auto scroll again auto scroll does may seem a little free when they're gone but as we saw in the last race it can't present its own challenges Right, a lot of uh, blind jumps, man. Ooh. Yeah, like I mentioned previously, the the auto scroll generally guides the player to the next platform. With these uh, with disabled, it leads to leads to some blind jumps, and that could uh, lead to death. Yeah, Scabby is gonna be a stage behind right now, Mitch. Trying to tie it up because Looking obviously back. the viewers want maximum stream time here. Who wouldn't want that? You know. I'm sure they wouldn't mind if we just turned the best out of seven. <laughs> you know. So no early hammer bro again. World two. Not that he have a hammer here anyway. We don't won't know until he picks it up. Yeah. It could work out for Sky again. Let's wait and see. Now just to know, Mitch has never beaten Sky Bills. Is that so? so? Yeah. And, that, and they're friendly races, yes. Okay. I don't. Yeah. I want, wait a minute, in the front of it, I'm trying to figure out if Mitch is the real one. I don't know. I don't, I don't race know. along with them and... I, no, I, Sky, I don't, Sky usually wins. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think Mitch has ever beaten Scott in a randomizer race. I don't know. This could be the one. Could be the it, one. It better be the one if he wants to stay in this tournament. Yeah, yeah. It's going to have to be the one. Like, is on the line here. Playing like it too, he's just rolling through these stages. Yeah, showing off that, that knowledge of these levels here. Then Scott trying to just tell him, nah, bro, you can't handle this. Hey, I'm just telling you like it is, okay? See, us commentator people sort of give you those interesting stats. Like, did you know Scott Bills has a Twitch stream? Hey, look at that. Did you know Mitch Firepower is only five seconds behind the 80% Warpus world record? Only behind Kar Karua? Did you know he currently has the all force world record? Did you know that Scott Bills plays a plethora of games like Castlevania? She does Zelda 1 randomizer races on a daily basis just about. You know, and she runs Mario World and she... You, did you know that? 
I do now. You know? Then she knows she's like the better half of like Arthur Blues, who <laughs> obviously knows the most amazing games ever created for any console or, or PC device. That's, yes. that's what I hear. That's what I hear. That's what you hear, right? <laughs> there you go. My stats guy has no more information, so enough of that. Mitch, yeah. uh, no, no uh, angry son on this stage, but there is a boss bass. Yeah. The levels, the level layouts themselves, as far as where things are, remains unchanged. Enemies, however, and power-ups inside the levels can change. Right. So we're not just going to put another pit out of nowhere or a random platform or 18 Kaizo blocks. Right. Which would be pretty cool. <laughs> Just random. Oh man. Oh. oh I gotta, okay. What have you done? I gotta, I, what gotta have you go done? Talk, I gotta go talk to Fred, man. <laughs> just randomly throw a Kaizo block in like certain levels and in a known jump position. Just, oh yes. Just around the the goal at the end, the goal card. That we have to jump at a specific angle to get to it, right? That's oh, like the. Oh, the true Mario Maker style. Just have some falling munches and thwomps. I know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, Mitch Flower Power makes it to the first world. We'll, we'll we'll see about that. <laughs> we took the second version of this tournament. Have yeah. mercy. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, all right. So, Mitch maintained that lead. Again, just a fortress behind here. Or should I say a castle behind? Oh, there's another base reference today. We've had hey. two references to Mega Man twice. Uh-oh. So, uh -oh. so with that. So, World 1 Wait, what is that? Huh? World 1 is 2 and World 2 is 1? That's what I'm... Yeah, I think so. That's weird, huh? We got some math form that's um, going on here right now. The hand stage. Giving out uh, clouds here. In this well... Scene. We didn't see a uh, hand stage at all last time, did we? I don't think we sure didn't. So we know that... Uh, so the three hand stages mix among the normal stages. Yeah. It's giving out, it gives out a random power up instead of a leaf. So we'll know that if they encounter another one, they'll keep another cloud. Indeed. So, <clears throat> definitely not going to take a quick depth there. Hand cloud. Yes. Don't you yeah. always cloud your hands or hand your clouds? What? Wash your hands with clouds? Well, as you all in chat come up with a new meme. A few years. Go back to talking about this race here. We've got our. Fortress, uh, second fortress in World Three here. Could be a nice level to cloud, honestly, man. It's just, easy, but you know, trying to take a death there isn't exactly the easiest. And do you know that Sky likes to cloud over fortresses. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. Again, it's very early, not knowing you have so many forts still in the in the pool here. Yeah, it's the second world. There's still the two auto scrollers that most people like to cloud over. It's a gamble. That's for. Yeah, um, Valhalla, yes, indeed. Um, if you type exclamation SME3 in the chat and check out the very last blob of uh, information, the last link, it show it tells you exactly what is randomized for the sake of the tournament settings. And of course, you can also download the randomizer program yourself and try it firsthand. You can see exactly what it does. There's actually, in fact, if you actually use the randomizer software, there's actually a tourney button on the software that will quickly set the tournament, the randomizer program, to the same flags or the same settings that the, rent, the players are using in the race, in the tournament here. So you can experience it firsthand. It's the best way, really. Yeah, hands on, man. That's the way, that's the way to go. So Mitch does have a lead here by about a stage right now. Stage and change over Sky Bills. She did not really? use that cloud over the fortress. Yeah. Went through this one. Ain't no problem. Nope. Yep. I have to say a special shout out to somebody that's seen the chat. Control here, what's up? All right, there we go. Shout out's done. <laughs> that was paid sponsorship there. That was that was literally like an in-game ad. Right? <laughs> but you can't block me with ad blocker. Me or me or Jatob. That's right. That dog it. Mitch not power. having a problem. Yeah, Mitch not having a problem with that that rotating platform this time. Yeah. And, oh, Sky. Ooh. I think she was going for the power block and missed time the cheap cheap there. 
for the intentional death in the cloud. Yeah, she's gonna be done with that. that yeah, that, that is a longer stage. Underwater section can be really nasty with random enemies. Yeah, so cloud yeah, that... he wing again just right over this stage. Yeah, that might have been definitely intentional now. So, of course, Mitch picking up a hammer there, and of course, having peek at the matching, or actually, yeah, second, should I say. Yes. So, we got flowers and stars, and here we go. So, reminder, layouts are shuffled each time, uh, mm -hmm. even if uh, it is frame dependent, so both players uh, may have different layouts, and then the power-ups for each seed are different as well, so even though there was a match for something last time that gave out hammers, that may not be the same thing this time. Indeed. Yeah. And, and this, and, and, and as many people have wondered, you know, I'm going to say if you played Mario 3 before, um, you have some knowledge of level, as far as the level layouts are concerned. Right. You know, um, however, in the randomizer setting, since there are things like enemies, <laughs> And unknown order and, and items that just, you just don't know where they're gonna show up. But this obviously present a new challenge to even a seasoned player. You know, definitely. Um, I mean, I look at where we are right now. We have a, we've had a world record holding the category going against someone who uh, who knows the game, but you know may not have a world record time. Just a really good randomizer player. You know, we've had people who made the finals that don't even uh, semifinals, a quarterfinals that didn't even run the game. They just played it casually and got really really far. Yeah, this is any, any percent warpless. No whistles. Whistles have been disabled for the tournament, so you won't see that item. Yeah. What is this meta? See, back in my day, meta was a tag in the HTML code. <laughs> when, when did people start saying, well, a meta could this is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Man. We used to say the thing to do, not the meta. I tell you all, you geeks. They're all geeks. We're sitting on Twitch watching two people play Mario 3, for God's sake. What in the world? Underworld 3. Ice World. No, uh... No, uh, skip here on the overworld pipes. Yeah, we're gonna play this one the long way here. Now there's gonna be uh, unused stages. Pretty short. A few enemies gotta watch out for, like... That. Fire Snake. Yeah. Mother boy, what? oh boy, Mitch gonna have to go for a seven six triple again. He did this before with the tail. I'm sure he doesn't want to be in this situation, but again, a little bit more challenging on seven six. And here we go, the battle of the tail. Uh -oh, who's gonna get it first? Behold the power of the whip action here. Isn't this just fun? Oh yeah. And it's not that we just tied up now, <laughs> right? After all that, it comes down to who can get Come this on. first. Come on, guys and gals, you can do it. Believe. <laughs> so, so, so if you jump at the corner above this door at a specific angle, at a specific velocity, you can uh, clip through the wall and just slide right through, uh, skipping this uh, interior section. Yeah. That's what they're both going for. And I think Mitch is going to take the death. Either try yeah. to the stage or grab a power up. Yeah, it looks right like that he... way. Sky gets it with a tail. Yep. So. Mitch did the, he gave up and just, did, he had a power up, but unfortunately, I guess he got very quickly as a result, so. Yeah, definitely easier of, with the Yeah, interesting, we have a lead change based on just that. I mean, yeah. not much, because we're, they're all kind of jammed up, one's on a coin ship and whatnot, so. It's still really <laughs> early. That's not going to swing the match one way or the other, but yeah. as for now, Sky does have the lead. Yeah. What was that, not the cloud? Not the cloud from that? We'll see yeah. here in like, what Mitch looks up. So, of course, we have this, again, with us having to do worlds the long way, you know. Got a lot of stages here. Again, World 6 been oh, yeah. the longest stage and the longest map in the game. But what are you thinking to make World 6 so long? Seriously, 10 action stages, 3 forts. Yeah, it's, what, towards the end of the game normally. Uh, maybe they just like ice levels. Yeah, know. and ice on top of it. <laughs> and when, and funny, not even all of them even have ice because it's just, eh. Yeah. I just like, this like, oh, this is a cool thing. Let's go with this. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to call my boy Mia Motes and say, man, what do you think? So, Sky, right on the matching <clears throat> here. So, here we go. More matching games for both players here. 
again, keeping track of where cars are. Right. Mitch is going to take care of the mushrooms. Sky as well. So Mitch is going to be done now. And I mean, for for lead standpoint, Mitch takes the lead. Hey, <laughs> look at that, another lead chain. <laughs> but of course, Sky's still big up in inventory here. So again, Sky has two hammers in her repertoire. Not one sure one. Look at that. Man, we've, seen that, we've ever seen that clip a few times, actually. Again, amazing pixel right? frame perfect <laughs> struts. Yeah, that sounds good. Actually loses you time. Yeah, I tell you, you get splat <laughs> clips and you get you just lose all your momentum. Dead stop. Another hand stage here. So we learned what another cloud is going to be available. Let's see Sky takes the same path after the same brother. Yeah, this is one of those things where a path choice could miss out on that cloud, and that's a very vital item. Definitely. But you'll probably take the bottom path because it's closer. So. It is. Saving those <laughs> frames on the overworld. Yeah, you know it. Alrighty, so again, Mitch, a little ahead here. Again, going for the hammer, but just hoping to find something nice here. You don't want to miss something nice and your opponent gets. So again, yeah, um, there's a pin win that you saw Sky get. Especially this early on, going for Hammer Brothers. It seems like it's out of the way, but could have those valuable items. Yeah. Same with the Ankar game. Definitely. I think she was doing a peek for us, looking for a star there, just in case. By the way, the boss, the, the brothers fights all randomized in the sense that um. Oh, sorry, no tunnel video for you, Mitch. Flower Power oh. viewers, though. So I'm sorry, you all. No MFP tunnel. Time. <laughs> so all your ball, all your brothers' fights on the overall map, they have randomized arenas. So if you take every battle arena that you normally would fight a Hammer Brother in, or any kind of brother, you don't know which one you get, as well as you don't know which brother you'll get between Fire Hammer, Sumo, Sumo, or the Sledge, as well as the Boom Rain Brothers. So. Very, very yeah. common to see star usage there. And that changes based on which overall tile you're on, tile you're on. well. Yep, sure does. You know, it's got hop in the fort, no yes. shots there. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, she, oh, now she has to do this. That's, oh, yeah. no. That is a rough break. Yeah. The Ooh. Two, one of two remaining auto scrollers. I guarantee right now she wish she just played the fort. She's going to nope. take the. Yeah, she's... Oh, wow. She almost went a little too low. Yeah, I mean... Mitch is gonna skip right over it. Yeah, so she cannot... She can obviously not die. She Oh, God, she doesn't want to die now. If she dies now, she's gonna have to play that fort. Right. And this stage is a, a massive time loss. So we cannot have that. I don't think she has a second cloud, so she couldn't... Yeah, I'm not sure. The death, play the fort. Watch this up jump this. Here. Yeah. Unknown enemy. So Mitch is gonna get through seven two, no problem, no boss pass issues there. Yeah, she just used a cloud. She just used a cloud to skip the previous stage to this one. So if she yeah. dies, she would have to have two clouds to even get past it. Right. And she'd have to play at least one the stage. Whole, yeah. You know, someone she had no clouds. So she's forced to play the auto scroll, which is honestly in the random out. There are only two auto scrolls in the game, and that by far is probably the one you don't want to play. That is the game where you take when blindly these uh, blindly using a cloud over a stage like that. Yeah, typically you P wing it or something a star, but that's the randomizer for you. Definitely not what you want to see. Yeah, one race that helps you, the next race that hurts you. So Mitch is going to maintain a lead here. Sky's trying to catch up here to see if she can. It's going to be a little challenging now just because of that long, long, long stage. Yeah, well, we still haven't seen World 7. We haven't seen World 3. Those can make a, a huge swing just based because, on the overall pipes. Yeah, we already saw Mitch in the previous race take the wrong path from World 7, which ultimately led to his demise. So this could actually even tie it up if he happens does the same thing twice. Yeah, definitely. But definitely make it closer. So Mitch clearing out the end card matching game there. And of course, he's got three hammers. Wow. Three hammers and a cloud, looks like. Yeah, so he's pretty, in yeah, yeah, he's pretty in good pretty position good now. <laughs> All saying the same thing. I'm thinking the same yeah. thing. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of hammers were available anyway from him. 
practice. Sometimes you have those seeds where hand rubbers just, just dump out hammers like there's no tomorrow. You have a seed that just, you might get one hammer the whole race of yeah. And it's at the very end when it can't even use it. Yeah. You know, you always, if you, if possible, oh, Sky misses the jump there. It's going to have to redo the P switch again. Like I said, you, ultimately, if you have a lot of hammers, you sometimes think about holding that hammer for World 8 just in case. You know, worst case scenario is that you have to traverse the hand bridge and have to fight the fast airship and then cross the hand bridge again to go back. You know, you just don't want to deal with all that mess sometimes. Yeah. And I mean, you definitely want to use them as you can. But of course, you have the luxury of saving them. Yeah. So just like in for instance, in, in this level, in number of races in World 3, you've seen players try to double hammer, of course, Mitch getting a really, really nice hammer position there. Again, if this happens to be the right path to his right where he is on the map, then Scott will have the exact same advantage. Right. This could this other pipe could lead to the other side of the uh other fortress. Yeah. Or the other side of the fortress with a lock as well. Do you and it does. <laughs> Uses it. He's gonna cloud it. Yeah, I knew he's gonna cloud that we'll probably P wing it right here. Or something major. Some kind of good item and of course he gets a very very simple stage here three one so you don't have to worry about any yeah no backtracking here for him yeah so double hammer in world three yeah so again that leaves him with one hammer in his repertoire of course we're going to see how sky see if sky mimics the exact same movement here but again, like I said, World 3, always try to first pipe and see where then that's kind of what's going to gauge you on what you're going to do in World 3. Yeah. So, my first time seeing this lost level today. <laughs> no enemies, just a lot of vertical swimming. Yeah. This is the level I said the other day, if you die in this level, you're bad at games. Yes, <laughs> you are bad at games if you die in this level. Maybe you get lost, you know? I mean... <laughs> oh my god, if you're someone that tries to go left and right... <laughs> you just like sit there for, you know. Just, I, doesn't realize that this one. Somebody's gonna totally do that. Like what? Yeah. See what had happened was, you know, your first game. Well, if your first game was Mario Maker, you probably realize you can't go up like, like two screens. Or you're like, yeah. Man, I'm bad. Maybe that's why that level was cut. People, players just couldn't get past it. Oh boy, playing ahead years later from. Yeah. So a bit of a route divergence here. Sky, uh, used the hammer at the beginning, decided to go through this fortress here, go along this path, instead of using the second floor, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this one works out. Again, this is one of those things that it could pay off, or it may not, oh, you know, just on that hammer usage. So. <laughs> right, so, since Mitch only has one hammer, and... Sky will have two, she'll have another opportunity to use that, but as for now, Mitch is in the lead as a result, but yeah. still got a, quite a few worlds to play. Of course, there's a there's a cloud that Mitch did not get. I don't think Mitch got that cloud. I don't think so. So again, this is one of the things where a longer path is, is yielding a better inventory. Again, yeah, it may we, not come into play, but oh yeah, we've boy. seen this in a, a match uh, previously that Sky Bills was in, where she played a bit more early on and stocked up on hammers and clouds and was able to catch up and actually win that match. Yeah, as a result yeah, that's, of it. yeah, that's definitely not uncommon. That that's happened not just to her, but just a lot of oh, players. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, from a like, oh yeah, he's in World Five, she's in World Four, but man, when you send her in, in second place with you know, four clouds and three hammers <laughs> and you no know. to skip half the game. You know. Yes. You know, you don't realize that again, things like that can turn levels, turn worlds into literally zero stage world, like world two for instance. A hammer, yeah. two hammers, a cloud, you're you know, a music box. I mean, yeah. God man, you just skip everything. But we'll see what happens right now, though. Mitch has to find his way through World 7. He needs to find it quickly because, again, Sky does have a slight inventory advantage right now. Does he use the hammer? He, he is does. going to All use right. it. Interesting. So he's going to use his hammer there, and hopefully for his sake, this is going to be good. 
again, he's kind of forced over here anyway. Yeah. So, either use it there or, you know, try something else. So, he's going to help one of these two pipes is going to get him out of here quick. Uh, Meanwhile, yeah. Sky Bill is. Oh, up. boy. Uh -oh. Mitch is free. So, he's going to be headed out of here. He's on All the 8-9 right. screen. So, that did pay off. He's in a hammer there. Yeah, there are yeah. So there are no just to answer the chat questions. Um, no, they can't hear us. Um, I no. mean, they, yeah, <laughs> they are they are by themselves in a in solitary confinement somewhere. Yep. Um, there are no whistles in the game. The whistles have been removed from the random out. I mean, they, you can use them, but for the sake of the tournament, they have been removed one to prevent people from accidentally whistling. That'd be horrible. <laughs> Not to mention a few stages or yeah, a few worlds. Yeah, no, and of course, in a randomizer standpoint. If you play with the whistles on, you could technically end up with like 12 hammer. Well, not 12 whistles, but more than the game would normally have. Right. You know, so we just took them out to play because, again, this is playing in the warp style anyway. Yeah, it's just an option in the, in the settings to disable it. Yeah. So, Mish took a death there, fortunately, so we have to lose a little time. Yeah, Wendy, Mish. not too much of a threat. Mitch is interesting enough going for the item here. Interesting. I'm a little yeah, shocked, yeah. actually. Um, especially yeah. having a lead here. So hopefully this pays off for something good. Just oh, a dog. Uh. oh, the <laughs> insult. Oh, boy. He's going to hold on to that for Bowser. Just wait. <laughs> He's going to try to tie it up with a frog kill, eh? Just to make it interesting. I know. So again, that's the gamble that people take. Um, just like on one three. Again, it does not end the level sooner, but it is a chance for an item. Just like you so, um, you tap talking about five one flying up there. Sky was trying to go for that, but she took damage unfortunately. So, <laughs> oh, the frig emotes have mercy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> actually, Mitch has already won the game. Dude, yes. <laughs> All right. Same so, thing with the item, though. That uh, music box on yeah. the playing stage. Yeah, Pretty very, very stage. Yeah. yeah, very common for Mitch to skip them. It's almost like clockwork. You always, always see. It's that probably speed cloud. mentality. It's really is. You know, um, you know, a lot of times. I mean, with the the warp is route changing. You know, a lot of times players are doing the four anyway, but. Again, the randomizer. It's a short stage, free item, but yeah, especially with Mitch, Mitch yeah. being down one hammer and one claw from Sky at least on just on those two items. He doesn't know that, but uh, yeah, neither player knows where the other is until they finish. Yep, we know. We do know. Now Sky is actually going backwards here. Interesting. So yeah. she's actually going to go the other route. Now, we know from Mitch that the correct solution, the correct way out is the pipe to the left of the piranha there below the lock. So Sky is going to... I don't know. I know she does have an inventory, lead, but she's going to begin to lose a little ground here. Alternate path here. She would have had to use a hammer like Mitch did, but maybe she's going to hold on to that. Yeah, right now, with her going this route, we just don't know how many levels she has to play. We don't right, know exactly. where she's going. Exactly. You know? Um, again, now, speaking of uh, Sky, Sky's opponent yesterday had some really tough luck here on on 6-5. Again, the enemies do randomize well. The nice none hit there. Yeah. Um, yeah I play her nippers up there. That balance, you have to carry up a shell. But with shuffled enemies, it could be anything. And sometimes you got uh, Kamikaze Karibo Shoe or Fire Snakes. That could lead yeah. to some, uh, something unexpected. Yeah, very, very tough one yesterday, I must say. I won't... <laughs> poor, poor Chuck uh, was victim yesterday. Uh, it was... Oh, was, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and this is why Karibo Shoe is only in one level in the whole... <laughs> It's really cool, but when you see it and it's when it's mean, it's not fun. Not at all. <laughs> but here we go. Sky's got a chance to go for the clip, but she's not going for it. 
That's a tough uh, wall jump. Yeah. Again, a little easier when you're big and don't have a tail. Um, I'm sorry, actually when you're small, it's a little easier. So again, I've Mitch, got, yeah. I've only got a few times. It is really difficult, but uh, I know some players make it look easy. Yeah, all those just uh, saves you from having to uh, saves you from having to have to swim underneath that underground section. Yep. So Mitch just kind of baiting boss bass here, and <laughs> a little risky yeah. there. A little risky. No problem. So again, Mitch starting to build up. Let's see, Sky is oh boy, Sky so still. Best what case is puts us on the right side of it. Well, it does kind of, but not where she wants to be. So yeah. Going through World Seven, typically you want to minimize the number of stages played, right? As general rule of randomizer, just to get an erase setting. And so having to play two stages on the other side of that pipe compared to the one here. Why she probably took this path instead. Yep. Yeah, that's what happens, man. I'm telling you. Can boss bass? Yes, boss bass can eat anything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anything. Even uh, even uh, Mario with a ice block. <laughs> See, yeah, that, that happened <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yes. Two meals at the price of one, right there. So again, Mitch just sitting the upper part of World Five. Uh, again, Sky can shorten this by using. Oh, oh no! Just that input didn't that jump didn't register. That's yes, all. Yes, remember you blame inputs or you blame RNG. Yep. Maybe your inputs are RNG. There you know. go. So B A becomes B and B becomes, B becomes A. <laughs> Dude, you know they totally have a. A long time ago, I did a. They had a Mega Man X race where you were given randomized inputs. Oh no. Randomized so, like, control you, layouts? <laughs> yeah, randomized control layouts, man. So like oh. like R is starred and Oh no. Like, oh man, just oh just harmonious. It's difficult enough to find a layout that you are comfortable with, but then just throw everything in and off. I'll pass. I feel like the ultimate troll with a do Metroid. Super yeah. Metroid with a with a button randomizer. Oh no. Oh boy. Let's make it happen. Hey, get the code in, man. What you waiting for? <laughs> I swear we probably have like a like I'm sure where my where my coders in chat. I know half our probably a good quarter of our chat are coders in some oh, language. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna need y'all to go bust out some Java. Okay? I'm ready <laughs> then. You know, nice little Java randomizer. Uh Sky did find the right the pipe to skipping that fortress as yeah. usual. Using that, using a box, a music box to skip the Prana plan as well. So we won't know what that uh, item is going to be. Yeah. So you see Mitch's knowledge of the level will obviously make a little hiccup in the end. Fortunately, he was not little, so he didn't take the death there. I had to say Java. Java is the devil, that's all. <laughs> if you code in Java, you're wrong. That's, that's... not a fact. That's long. Well, I know when I was learning. That was what we were taught first, and it oh. never, nothing never came of it. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks a lot for that. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I missed to pick up another hammer uh, from the hammer brother up here. World mm -hmm. five. Sky Bill's getting through world seven. World uh, also world five. So a few stages behind. <laughs> Dude, you coding Konami? What in the world? <laughs> uh, up, up, down, down. Sure. Wow. Look at some pretty basic programs here. There we go. Mitch got to be a little careful here. Again, yep. this Ooh. is a level that normally, as a, from a speed standpoint, this level just flies by. But when you get so many spawnies, you can't do that. Forget that mess. Yeah. So again, Sky having to deal with 6-5 as well, so going to have to power up. Well, you leave me alone. Did you know that this randomizer program was actually coded in BASIC? Was it? No, it wasn't. No. <laughs> it just seemed really, really impressive if it was. So here we go. Mitch about to be moving on to his seventh world here. So Roy has in store. 
Oh, boy. That's three hits. Yep. So, Sky, I'm not worried about inventory right now. I can't blame six. So, nope. this is a time where you kind of just begin to just get through the game now. It's, yeah, it will be right after this. So, if Mitch happens to tie this up, then we're going game three next. Dude, I, I told you all. We told you all at the very beginning. Get comfy. Oh, yeah. Oh, because yeah. just FYI, you all, after this semifinals match is determined, don't go nowhere. Because the next semifinal best of three is after this. We've got Classic Gamer 88 and Duckfist patiently awaiting the conclusion of this one because we're going to go right back at another best of three, y'all. You all don't get this. This is hype as heck. <laughs> Dude, back to back semifinals. I'm still trying to absorb it all. I'm telling you. So right now, um, again, the, Mitch has a pretty hefty lead right now, um, partly due because of World 7's map. Um, Mitch did opt to use a hammer Great. to break the lock above the first piranha stage. And to the left of that piranha was the exit out. Scott decided to save that hammer and try to find the natural way out. Um, which there always will be. Again, that's what, just FYI for the randomizer standpoint, you're never forced to use a hammer to complete a world. There's always a natural unlocked path. But of course, having a hammer may make it quite short. And of course, that definitely built the lead up a little bit for Mitch. Definitely. Uh, Mitch, Scabios also took a little time to play a matching game. So she does have one more hammer and one more cloud than Mitch does. But with us winding down to the end of the race here, it may not come into play here. Yeah, since Mitch was able to use one here in World 4 to skip a few stages. Yeah, uh, so I, so. I also have that opportunity as well, and the opportunity to hammer here, top of World 5, where Mitch wasn't able to, I believe. Yeah. Ooh, but, uh, boy. Point, nice double hit there. Yeah, getting very close. So, it's going to have to it's gonna have to come down to some, some really bad luck in World 8 navigation, which I, it has happened before. It has happened. It has happened to go this completely wrong path, especially... If you have one of those seeds where the dark screen, where the most pipes are in World 8, don't yield the exit, and it may be locked by the airship, the fast airship. So, you, you know, the map says go for it, but the odds aren't in your favor for once. But we'll see. Yep. But if Mitch does win this, we will tie it up 1-1, one, one, and we will have game three. Wow, the stuff <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> Man. I, see that I think well. I caught him off guard too. Caught everybody off guard. Like, oh, yeah. What's going on? What's going on with your controller, man? <laughs> so Mitch feeling like he was going to die. Apparently, he's going to get the, the five up. Scotty had already get a couple of those early. Again, life's lives are probably not going to be affected for these players at this level. Anymore. Probably not. You know, not. The worst case scenario, you have a really nasty first stage that just bodies you. Which was uh, which is possible. Uh, oh we boy, we've had no power ups. Yeah, if we roll back to our, our group staging, we have had some serious game overs. Oh, yeah. You know, because of just, ugh. Starting out with, like, 742 is your first stage with no power-ups. <laughs> ugh. So here we go. Mitch has one more stage to do before he can go to the castle to take care of the last airship. Got the and Air Force uh, here. Scabio is not having fun. Oh! Boss Bass. Ugh. Again, Boss Bass in 7-5, and she has no clouds. Oh. So she has to play this. There is no way around this. This is this is how you make 7 Again, 7-5 last time had Boss Bass, didn't it? It, it did, it, it did. The last race it did, so. Deja Vu here. I think trying she was trying to. Koopa. Yeah, yeah. trying to get Koopa. She'll take it with her. So this one down here. Oh, nice job. Nice bounce off yeah, that. Thing. Got just a that bounce there. Power up. So we have fire. Don't want to lose it here. <laughs> so I should have roughly about five seconds of safety after every boss pass kill before he shows up again. Of course, you got to be careful which way you're facing, too. You do. Because it spawns just off center to left or right of the screen. And you don't want to be facing him when he's jumping towards you. That's not good. Meanwhile, Mitch takes off Iggy. You wish there was an easy way to keep track of items? How many clouds? Well, 
the thing the thing about that is is that that's part of the game to keep track of your inventory you know now a couple of us programmers have actually written programs that actually can read the ram of the program to to display your inventory in a nice little convenient little program window whoa that was close that was that close mercy. <laughs> pushing it to the last frame there but again that is part that is part of the randomizer you know being to keep track of what you have what you know what you, i mean just not not just your inventory but like the stages you played what worlds are up i mean that right. is part of the whole randomizer experience from a at least from the race standpoint keeping track of matches and in card games oh for you keep track of for you to watch on stream and, and you know the problem is that for us to do that we would ask obviously have to know what the seat does you know right. what's where all that stuff and what you trying to do? Make your trackers work harder? <laughs> <laughs> then of course the, the people playing would just be watching the restream like, oh, I can see what I have. Just go check out that. Nah, I'm, they wouldn't do that. And one, yeah, one thing you can't even see the inventory unless the player checks it. In that case, yep. for, for, for that uh, instance. Yeah. So again, Ma Mitch Maker's way at the World Eight again. And... But go ahead and get that lock out of the way. Yeah, it's not a not uncommon for that uh, for that strategy. I mean, it's one extra stage, sure, but if this next uh, the other path leads you right there, you're gonna get back and play it anyway. Less time on the overworld, having to backtrack. Yeah, yeah, that that was the biggest thing. Yeah, and Scott did lose a lot of time on the. That was a that was a that was one of those things where they decided to use the cloud in, in different places, and unfortunately. Sky using skipping forward, she skipped over a level and was stuck with the the lost level auto scroller, the long, long water one. Was forced yeah. to play it. And that was a, that's the biggest time loss in the game, honestly. That's literally two minutes. <clears throat> skipping that fortress. Check this pipe first, and that's, that's the right way. Yep. There we go. So Looking very, very favorable for Mitch right now. No, this is not this is not my Twitch. No. No, this this is owned by Feasel. Yes. But my Twitch, man. Follow the runners. Exclamation yeah. R. That's it. You know? Exclamation R to follow the runners in the case if you just want to follow Jatab or myself, you can type exclamation C. We're we're just here to enhance the viewing experience. Yes. The main focus is the player. Yes. Bump us, man. <laughs> If we want to love, we play in the tournament. Oh, wait, you did. Oh, you? I did. Oh. I didn't make it past group stage, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh. All right. So, again, Mitch having these hammer suits. So, he's going for the clip. Oh, what a wuss. Got the other one, though. Oh, look at him trying to be all swag. Don't get happy now, man. You ain't won yet. Watch out for those, those disco waffles. Yep. So, I know Sky probably realized that she probably is a little behind just just on the auto scroll alone and yeah. you know that death and whatnot. So, again, I think I know talking to her, you know, it's a lot easier to know when you have one win under your belt, so you know that if you mess up, don't worry about it, to brush it off because you got another chance. Yeah, she was able to do that in, uh, in the quarterfinals, come back yeah. and win while she's here. And th yeah, this is exactly what happened yesterday. Sky Bills won game one, her opponent won game two, and then she came back and won game three. But we're going to see what happened today. And now, she is in trouble. Uh -oh. But Mitch has completed, though. Mitch has tied this up 1-1, one, one, while hey. Sky is stun-locked on the Fire Brother space. Finally getting out of it. Oh. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, nothing you can really do there. You can't open your inventory. You just sit there on you, waiting. Indeed. So, uh, game good to Mitch, who finishes with an official live run speed time of 43 minutes and 30 seconds. So, forcing a game three. Yep. And Just not only one. that, Mitch can officially say that he has finally beaten Scabules in at least one round. Yeah. So, don't get used to it. <laughs> yep. So, um, Sky's going to, again, finish our races, of course. Oh, of yeah. course, that also means that we've got game three coming up, you all. Oh, yeah. We 
got game three coming up. Oh, I'm happy. I'm I'm happy for that, man.